Intel's new laptops launched and they're everything we thought they would be. Goodbye and good riddance. And hello to the 40 Super. The 40 Super? Well, let's get in the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Friday, December 15th, 2023. Ah, You're like and a I'm cat. Kyle. No, You're a Kyle. Cat. Despicable. Oh, but what's not despicable is the launch of the Meteor Lake laptops yesterday. We got to see exactly what they're capable of. Third party reviews came out. Intel held a big event that was, I think it's called AI Everywhere. Great, uh, more AI. More AI. 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 Hey, more AI. <laughs> yeah, look at that go. Anyways, Meteor Lake laptops come out. Faster GPUs, worse single core speed, but that was to be expected, especially as they're embarking into their tile based SOCs. Not a ton of reviewers got laptops in order to get their hands on them, but the one that I always go to for laptop videos is Jared's Tech. You remember meeting him at LTX? Yeah, yeah. When you were there? I was there. Yeah, you were at you. LTX. I also met him at Computex one time, and we talked about how we met at Computex, and then we saw each other at LTX. He's a really great guy. I like him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but he's he's a great laptop reviewer, and it, according to his reviews and plenty of others, Meteor Lake is very fast, especially when you compare it to Intel's previous 13th gen. Just absolutely dominates everything when it comes to gaming performance. Just smashes it with the club and makes it submit to it. But one of the things that they are also changing is the fact that in case you want to get an ARC badge on these new Meteor Lake laptops, you need to have a minimum of 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is a good thing. In order for it to be considered gaming capable yeah. with an integrated GPU. You need 16 gigabytes of RAM. I, I think that's fine. That makes me happy. Higher standards. Yeah, uh, but I, I, and I'm just gonna say this, maybe just stop putting stickers on the laptops. I am also an anti-sticker guy, but people like them. Which I is don't weird like to me. I don't like, like those stickers. People like them, turns out. But <laughs> in case you want to know how it compares to AMD's own processors, the 7840U and the 780M GPU, it's faster according to Intel. Okay, look at these numbers. They're saying on average it's about 5 to 10% faster. It does lose in several games, including Apex Legends Counter Strike 2. That oh, might be due to the Baldur's CPU. Gate. And it's slower in Baldur's Gate, but it is competitive. That is that is the thing that I'm driving home. It has finally caught up. Integrated graphics on Intel side are finally at the place where they are competitive with AMD. And from the reviews that I was watching, Intel is now competitive with Apple and efficiency with the M1 chips. Because one of the things that Intel has introduced with Meteor Lake is that you still have the P cores, the big old performing boys, and you still have the E cores, the efficiency boys, but then you also have ultra low power efficiency cores. So you have even more efficient things that can be run, and that helps to make sure that the idle power usage is significantly lower. So if you're looking at getting a great battery life, Intel is now entered into the conversation of being in consideration. And this has made me realize that like, I'm gonna consider getting a Meteor Lake laptop for my wife because of all of the improvements. Better graphics, better RAM, better battery life, and a lot of the new Meteor Lake laptops have OLED screens, which is strange in and of itself. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Papa, 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 does that come at a higher price tag? It is slightly higher. I mean, you are looking in the thousand plus range mm -hmm. in order to get all of this, but it's not outlandish compared to the specs that you're getting, right? Try to find an OLED laptop from AMD. You're running in a similar ballpark. Also, one of the things that Intel announced is that they are going to be unifying their desktop and laptop GPU drivers, which I don't know is necessarily a good thing, but it's a thing they did. But their lineup has now changed. They have the Intel Core Ultra 7, Ultra 5, Ultra 9. The Ultra 9 185H is expected still to come out in Q1. That's a big deal. That's going to be their highest end version with 16 cores, 22 threads, and hopefully will be their fastest one that can boost up to 115 watts of turbo power. It's going to be a Spicy boy, I'm very interested in these for being APU style things where you're using the integrated arc graphics, having that higher power efficiency, lower power draw. I'm excited by Meteor Lake, but I did watch Dave 2D's review where he said, this is really good. Intel has now entered into the conversation again, but the problem is they only just finally caught up. Intel used to be the gold standard. And now after years of them being like, Meteor Lake, Meteor Lake, Meteor Lake, it's good, but it's not. Yeah, the it, lake got plenty meaty. Yeah. It, it did not revolutionize the industry. When Apple came out with M1, it changed the game. Intel is not changing the game, they're only changing it for themselves. For some reason, I thought you were gonna hit me when you shrugged. <laughs> Have I ever? No. no I just <laughs> I flinched a little. Oh, weird. <laughs> well, can you flinch at this? Today's video ah! sponsor. <laughs> 
Today's video is sponsored by ProtoArc and their EK01 Plus keyboard. The EK01 Plus is a full-size split ergonomic keyboard that comes with an integrated wrist rest to keep your wrist comfortable during long typing sessions. And with its unique curved design and split key layout, the EK01 Plus strives to reduce wrist and forearm strain by promoting correct posture while typing. The gently concave keycaps and cushioned wrist rests add to the comfort and make typing with this keyboard as effortless as can be. Connecting via both Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz USB and being able to pair up to three devices simultaneously makes the EK01 Plus a productivity machine. It's compatible with Windows, Mac OS, Android, and Microsoft systems, meaning you can type comfortably on all your devices with a touch of a button. And while being used wirelessly, the EK01 Plus runs on a 2000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery, giving you both long battery life and super fast recharging speeds. The adjustable soft white LED backlighting to the keys ensure that you can see your keys in any lighting condition while also also reducing eye strain when in low light environments. ProtoArc took adjustable comfort even a step further with the EK01 Plus, including four adjustable feet on the board as opposed to the usual two. This allows for varying degrees of height and tilt on the board, encouraging you to find your most comfortable typing position. If the way you've been typing has been leaving your wrist feeling a little worse for wear, consider checking out the ProtoArc EK01 Plus for yourself by clicking the link in the video description. Big thank you to ProtoArc for sponsoring today's video. Well, you won't be able to use this to play Spider-Man too, because it would be weird. You kind of want to use the DualSense controller, but they announced they're going to be a little delayed when it comes to New Game Plus. It wasn't there on launch, and they're now saying that it's going to be early 2024 before they have it. Why? Because it probably has something to do with the hack. Like, a lot of the resources probably are going to dealing with that. The same hair on your mustache that was poking out the other day is poking out today. That's awesome, because I actually cut that hair. Oh, can I pluck it? No. Okay. That's fine with me that Spider-Man's going to take a little while longer because I'm busy enjoying God of War Ragnarok Valhalla. I kind of want to play more Spider-Man. I don't... I'll wait for the DLC. I don't care enough to do the achievements. Stop looking at my mustache. No, I wasn't. I was actually <laughs> looking you in the eye. Now you're just paranoid. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't really care about doing the trophies. Now you're looking at it. I don't really care about doing the trophies, but there's nothing else to do in the game. Yeah. DLC. We'll have to wait for that. And we'll have to wait for Reese for UFD deals. He told me he's taking today off, so there's no deals. But... I've got oh. some deals. Maybe maybe there are. I don't know. Can I, can, wait, instead of... because So I was going to go like, ha, ah, and I was going to try to have Reese come out of my mouth. Yeah. But can... Rickus, could you make me, like, breathe fire for a second? Just because. <laughs> like that? Okay, well, here's some fire I'm going to breathe. I, I got deals. Spit. Epic. Spit some fire. No, I'm going to breathe it. <laughs> Epic Games is giving away free games. 17 free games this holiday <gasps> sale. You can, you can get one right now. Destiny 2, the Legacy Collection. It's free. Oh no! It should be a free-to-play game anyways. Also, they're bringing back epic coupons. You get 33% off any transaction that's more than 15 bucks. If you buy Alan Wake 2, you get Alan Wake Remastered included in that. Additionally, Assassin's whoa, Creed whoa, whoa, Garage whoa. is cheaper. You left out, you also get the Alan Wake Fortnite outfit. I'm so sorry. This is why I don't do deals. This is why I <laughs> hand it over to a professional like Reese. And NVIDIA is handing the 16 series GPUs to the grave. No! They're killing them off! It's over. According to board channels, NVIDIA is discontinuing the 16 series GPUs as of next year. And who knows if there will be a replacement? Probably just going to be the 4050. 17 series. That would make me so troubled. <laughs> <laughs> if they did that, especially because it's been so long since the 16 series launched, mm -hmm. I would be frustrated. But they like they brought back the Super <laughs> and I could just, it would be so funny to me to see like a 17. They'll, they'll do something weird. 1760 Ti Super Pro. They had a Pro in there for no reason. Non-AI. Dragon Edition. Oh, they could do that, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the complicated names, we now have details coming out about when the super cards are gonna launch, and oh, it's gonna be complicated. Oh, it always Slightly is. Slightly different. January 8th is gonna be the announcement date at CES by NVIDIA regarding the super launch. Then the 4070 Supper is gonna launch January 17th. Then the 4070 Tissipur Thai soup is gonna watch a, launch a week later on January 24th. And then the 4080 Super is gonna launch on the 31st, which is a week later. Later than that. So you're getting weekly launches of the Super Per series from NVIDIA. So one of the interesting things that I found while reviewing this is that Tom's Hardware has a quoted price list where they're expecting that the 4070 Super is going to be about the same or $50 more. The Tissiper is going to be the same price or $50 more. And then the 4080 Super is supposed to be getting a price drop between $1 and $200. And then the alleged 4090 Ti, if that does launch, is going to cost... Arm plus 
like yeah which is uh which is funny <laughs> i tried to find out exactly where they're getting this pricing detail from what rumor are they quoting they didn't provide that information they just said suspected pricing which i do suspect that the 4080 super should be less i've said that but i don't have a source for that you're just uh, going on vibes based on vibes yeah 100 yeah. percent. i mean vibes check out vibes check uh, don't ask. Is that me. like a hockey check? Don't ask me. All right, like check it. We all know. Should how we I ask am. the chat, the comments? How? Should we respond? Do to you that? respond? Nibble says on a real note. I feel like Valve only brought up sniffing the Steam Deck to get free promo from both sniffers and non-sniffers. This had 69 likes. I agree. They didn't post it anywhere. Yeah, they responded in a Steam support. Like they were responding yeah. to one person directly. Yeah, I think that was just like one customer support person that like gave a pretty funny answer. It, was it wasn't even that funny. It was just like, yeah, we know it's a meme. Don't do it, please. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then they triggered me and I had to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've I wouldn't have done it probably ever had they not <laughs> said that, and I did it a lot yesterday. Campbell says, I can confirm the new Avatar game looks amazing, especially when you get to the planes. FSR 3 and Frame Jam both work great on it too. The oddest thing is that the cutscenes look noticeably worse than the gameplay does to me. I've, I've said it, I don't know if I've said it on Hot News, but every bit of this game that I've seen on YouTube looks terrible to me. Probably I think it compressed. looks bad. And, and yeah, I suspect that it might be the compression, but I've yet to see it run natively on anything yet. So I just don't believe you guys. I don't believe that it looks good. And we're not gonna try to correct that belief. No, it'd be way too hard to download it. <laughs> Ray says, I like that Reese is always around for deals now. No more missing Reese. Uh-oh. <laughs> Tyler says, that LED panel behind you. I think I just bought the same thing. 32 by 32 pixels, IDM. How did you make that UFD animated logo? Did you legit have to draw it per pixel using the app or did you find a way to import them from somewhere else? Kyler, uh, this is one of the first things you had to do when you got here. Not had to. I just kind of chose to do it. He did. I made that like whenever I started first working here and yes i did it pixel by pixel it was way too much work for what it was i mean it's just been sitting there it's really it's, it's, it's cool yeah penfold five says whilst i do have some sympathy with overclockers if you operate any other electronic product outside the manufacturer's stated specs then you're very likely to be breaking the warranty overclocking is a bit light re over revving a car engine for an extended period of time then expecting the car dealer to fix it for free if anything goes wrong of course as such a large part of the enthusiast pc product range is designed around overclock this could hurt this and ultimately amd in the longer term but Threadripper is supposed to be for semi-pro work where you'd be unlikely to overclock anyway. I hear you to some extent. Part of the problem is that like RAM overclocking, like if you enable Expo or XMP, that is technically overclocking and can technically be a reason to deny a warranty claim. And that is frustrating. It's like when you granny shift instead of double clutching and then the they won't repair your Supra. I think you're not supposed to double clutch. Cause I- <laughs> Like you should. Like you should. I learned the double clutch method yeah. because of the meme. And then I told my dad about it. Yeah. And he goes, that doesn't sound good for the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you'll never take me alive, says the only reason Baja drivers don't recommend that other people drive Bajas is because they want all the Bajas for themselves. I should know, I drive old Civics. I know your game, Kyle. You drive multiples at the same time, huh? I mean, Civics make it really easy to do that. You wear them like roller skates. And then Z Bishop said, never said I couldn't lick the Steam Deck. Keep that tongue in your mouth, boy. Please. Please, Kyler, don't. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Okay, You're we'll lucky. see you. On Monday for more hot news. Uh, next week's gonna be weird. I'm gonna be in the hospital. Not me, my son, but we'll get, we'll do the, bye.